important thing about marketing as far as Google is concerned, right? What does Google do? Google sells words. So if we go to Google, okay, let's go talk about words. So, uh, you know, words are everything. You're on your cell phone, you get a search box, you type in a word. You're on the internet, you're looking for something, you type in a word. Okay, so we will talk about images in a little bit because some people do images, but mostly you talk about words. So let's talk about words right now. So we're doing uh, stone. What is it called? Stone? Brewery. Brewery? Brewing, strong brewing. So, what is what are we looking at now? So, if somebody has typed in stone brewing, which is her beer here. It shows up as the first website. Notice nobody is advertising over top of you, which is a good thing, right? Mm -hmm. um, if I was your competitor, I would probably buy that word so that my website came above that. So if I was the other people that were the um, um, blast point. So if I was blast point, I would buy this these words, stone brewing. I would pay for them. They're probably cheap, very inexpensive. And I would then have Google put me above them right here. as, a, as And it would say sponsored link, right? But still, I could be above them pretty cheaply and easily if they were my competitor. I don't. I guess Blastpoint doesn't see you as really a competitor. Yeah. You know, you know beer, it, I don't know. This. I guess this is not a very competitive market. I work in a very competitive market, right? If I go to Google and I type in stud finder, right? I'm going to get all kinds of people. Well, let's just type in zircon. You know, oh, there's like no ads showing up at all. But you got these up here. These are ads. And then I don't know how I, I, I rank up here. Usually there's advertising over top of me. I don't know why I'm not advertising. What am I using here? I'm using Firefox. Maybe it's a special day, no advertising over top of me. So these are ads as you can see, but usually I get a lot more ads over top of it where companies are actually paying to be over top of us when you type in that. Let me go to a different browser. Maybe, um, let me go to, to you know, maybe we have some ad blocker on this computer. Yeah, here we go. So I got Amazon right now is advertising over top of my website. If my website shows up here at the top and it's not an ad, it's called an organic link. That's the term we use to describe it. And that term organic link comes from um, websites that organically are not paid to be in Google. This is paid to be in Google. It's Amazon. Amazon and Google have a psh, relationship. And so, of course, this is an ad. Uh, so let's get back to your stone brewing. So, oh, not that one, not that one. Not, uh, oh, there we go. No, that's yours. Didn't I type in stone brewing somewhere? No. I did. thought I did. No, we don't need that. Don't need that, need that, don't need that. There we go. So, again, uh, your website comes up as far as ranking, and it looks like it is done um Organically, there's not really people that are advertising over the top of it. So let's talk about the words. This word right here is uh, the title, tag, this is the domain name, and this is the description. Google uses all three of these in ranking you within um, their index. Do you know how Google works? Let's, let's go and watch a video. Let me pause the, my video for a moment. Zoom. Again, we're talking about words and um, words online. Typing in words and finding uh, how pages rank is, is probably the first step in doing research is to not necessarily use the Google tools, but use Google and search your friend and, and just search your topic, right? So if I'm selling beer, which we're doing Stone Brewery today, we're doing, uh, I might just start with a generic term brewing company and just see what comes up so I'm gonna do brewing company first thing it's gonna recognize is where my IP address is from 
Google knows those things, so it knows where I'm at. It, so it's showing me all the brewing companies around my area, right? So Google knows where you're at. Oh, we never finished our, our, our search thing. Here we got halfway through our video. Let's finish our video. Include synonyms for those words. So again, is this page from a quality website or is it low quality, even spammy? What is this page's page rank? That's a page rank. Whoosh. Page rank is very important to Google. What is page ranking? Well, page ranking is if well, he, he'll explain it again. Formula invented by our founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin that rates a web page's importance by looking at how many outside links point to it and how important those links are. Finally, so again, page rank or page um, pop we call it page popularity. And that is how many companies are linking to your site. And uh, more people linking to you and more that you link to them, you will rank higher as well. Um, you know, so if you're in a very highly competitive area, that's kind of important. If, you know, if you're not in a very highly competitive, it might not be that important. You can find out who's, rank who's linking to your page and um, so on by using a tool. Um, there, there's one at Add Me. Add me, and it's called uh, Link Popularity. Where is it? There should be a tool here somewhere. There used to be one on a website called Add Me. Free tools, Link Popularity. See it right here. So AddMe.com is a kind of a website, and then there's one called Link Popularity right there. If you click on that, it'll then allow you to type in your website. So you can type in what is it? Stone S T O N E Brewing B R B R E W I N G, and then N Y K H W Y, and then you can put in Bill at Microsoft.com. I don't think you need a legitimate email, but it wants you to put one in there. So we, we, we send it to Bill Gates. So again, you can put in, again, it's called Add Me as a website. Under free tools, it's called Link Popularity. What that'll do is that'll tell you who is linking to your site so you can see how many people are linking to you. And you click on there, and then you can find out who's linking to you. Nobody's linking to you on Google. <laughs> uh, Please link back to this tool from your website. I found useful, simple code to paste. It doesn't say anything. Increase your backward link free. Your backwards link are too low. I guess you don't have any. I don't know if that worked properly. Let's just do something that is popular. What would be a popular site? Westvalley.edu. Let's try that. Just to see if it actually worked. I don't know if it actually worked with your stone brewing. Or maybe I typed it wrong. No, I guess it's not. But what's it was just saying to me? Why, why is it not working? Please link back to this tool from your website if you found it useful. I didn't. I didn't find anything useful. Oh, I didn't hit the agreement. Is that what I didn't do? Is that is that what it's trying to tell me? Let me try again. Stone Brewery. Not very good website. Let me try one more time. Let's see why. I guess. I, I don't know. I guess I, I have no idea. You would think that it would give me some information. Okay, whatever. I, I'm going to move on. That used to work. Uh, let's try one more. See, link popularity. Pop U L pop P O P U L A R. I don't know. Let me see if I can find another tool. Let's try another one.
Stone Brewing. Oh, really? You love these, don't you? Well, look, look, I used to have that car right there, didn't I? <laughs> Stone Brewing. Whatever. Okay, none of the tools work. But whatever, you saw in the video, there's something called link popularity. There's a way to find out. We combine all those factors together to produce each page's overall score and send you back your search results about half a second after you submit your search. At Google, we take our commitment to delivering useful and impartial search results very seriously. We don't ever accept payment to add a site to our index, update it more often, or improve its ranking. Let's take a look at my search results. Each entry includes a title, a URL, and a snippet of text to help me decide whether this page is what I'm looking for. I also see links to similar pages, Google's most recent stored version of that page, and related searches that I might want to try next. And sometimes, along the right and at the top, I'll see ads. We take our advertising business very seriously as well both our commitment to deliver the best possible audience for advertisers and to strive to only show ads that you really want to see. We're very careful to distinguish your ads from regular search results. And we won't show you any ads at all if we can't find any that we think will help you find the information you're looking for, which in this case, the cheetah's top running speed is more than 60 miles an hour. Thanks for watching. I hope this made Google a little bit more understandable. So again, how Google works is a website. You can go. There's a lot of information about it. Uh, again, usually when I start my search, I will, again, just go on to Google and just type in my topic. And Again, it's finding local breweries in my area if I'm doing beer, and then I can come down and start looking. First thing I'm going to look at is why is this website ranking? Why is this one ranking? Well, the reason why this one's ranking, and you can see in your search results, this is a little bolder. See it? It's a little bolder than the rest of the text around. Why is it? Well, Google is saying to me, hey, the reason why this website is ranking is because you have this word in the description. Do you see that? It's like a little bolder. So, and you can go around and see there it is. This is here, Brewing Company. And then you'll see this one has Brewing, Brewing, Brewery. Oh, Stone Brewing. There you go. So you got Brewing twice. Stone Brewing is a brewery headquartered in Escondido, California. Oh, I'm getting better at it. Oh, gosh. Founded in 1970 and the largest brewery in Southern California. So you're ranking there pretty good for somebody who is just typing in Brewing Company. So this is a good word. I'm going to copy that and put my put that in word. So that's a good phrase. So whenever we're doing this, I want you to think about phrases. Phrases are more than one word, right? Nobody's really going to go into into Google and type in beer. Maybe but if they type in beer, what's going to happen? Well, I'm going to get so much random information. You go to, it's going to go to Wikipedia. It's going to get this. It's going to get you're really too broad of a term for you. So when we talk in phrases, each one of you should have multiple words combined together. So again, the first one I have right here is brewing company. That's a good one. I'm going to start with that. Then, of course, my company name, Stone Brewing Company. Or Stone Brewing. Um, might even Stone Brewing. Um, Stone Beer Company. Um, what else is another term for beer? Is there another term for beer? Yeah. Draft? Craft beer. Craft. Oh, there you go. Craft. C R A craft beer brewing. Or maybe craft beer company. That might be better. Doesn't matter if it's upper and lowercase letters? Not really. 
What would another one be? Um, craft beer. Get at least 10 for your topic. Find 10 for your topic. Uh, this was, it, I would use location. Southern, Southern California. Um, brewing, brewing, no. uh, best beer in Southern, Southern. California, um, whatever. Um, is there a specific event that they have there that it might be? Um, uh, they have a lot of beer fests. Yeah, so beer fest is a good one. Beer fest, the vol festival. In what's that? What, what's that town called? In in oh boy, I'll never be able to spell that. Uh, I'm sure we'll find it. Where was I? Escanido. In Escanido. Do you actually go there? Uh, went there once. Might go there next month. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oktoberfest is another one. Oktoberfest, maybe. I have to put my date in. Can I lie? So it looks like I'm younger than I am. Um, okay, let me try some other terms. Uh, how about Escanito beer? Stone Brewing, there it is. Where is it located? Oh, outside of. Oh, it's up here. Oh, like you said, all the breweries are right there. Yep. Oh, by Carlsbad, but it's in it's inland. It's not by the coast, is it? No. Oh my lord! Where, where, where the, all the river, all the water from this river goes into the beer. It's weird because like it's outskirts. I mean, if I were people who asked me where it was, I go, it would be like if you lived in San Jose and you were to drag a Hollister because it's just like nothing there. Mm -hmm. That would be like what it's like. <laughs> okay. Uh, so maybe that. So they call themselves a brewery bristo. That'd be good. Famed brewery beast beast bistro. Beast, bistro. Modern space with indoor fire pit. So their bistro is known because it's all organic food they cook. Mm -hmm. But they don't actually advertise it as all organic food. It's just one. Mm -hmm. Okay, hopefully they're sort of selling some corned beef and cabbage today, right? Yeah. So what? Oh, here it is. Beer festival in Encanito. Uh, what did I just say? Beer, um, beer, or no. Um, I said Oktoberfest. October. October. Oktoberfest. Um, where, though? And, um, it could be anywhere. There's a lot of Oktoberfest. I know. That's what I'm saying. We need to add more terms to this. Southern. Cal. Um, I don't know. Did you come up with some words? Let me see what words you got. Did you find the topic? She got in here on her website? Bay Area North South Lager. That sounds like good. Bay Area North South Lager. Um, food recommendations. Bay Area. Right. And what else would a blogger do? Go 
location, places to visit, so food recommendations. Come on, come up with ten. You can think of ten. Do you have your company? Let me see your company. Beer tasting. That's my other one. Beer tasting. 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 Yeah. Try? Did you try? I don't know if I believe you agree or not. Let's try. Go go to this website. Yeah, try type it in. something there? Is this what you yeah, made yeah, last yeah. time? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you have some stuff. So go in and then um, you just click yes. Click forward. So, oh, you have that. Yep, click again. Then do that. Dash. Admin. And you hit return. And then you have a login and password. That should get you in. Okay? And you're doing which one? Car repair? Yes. Yes? Do you have a friend who has car shop? No. Yes? Okay. What do they repair? Um, a body shop. Oh, body shop? Yeah. Okay, so I would specialize in that, right? Yeah. So not necessarily car repair, but if it's body outside, you know, auto body, paint, right? Is it paint? Paint. So paint, car painting, what else would be? Car painting, um, what's the outside of the car? Car um, but this, I would look up companies that do that, right? Mako. Here, the, the best thing I would do if I was you and doing car repair, I would type in Mako. M A Mako. Make make is it Mako? Mako. Mako. No. M A C C R O. No. Make. Mako car paint. Oh, here's two A's, Oof. right? Mako car painting is probably the largest in the, in the world, or at least New Estados Unidos. And then, um, boy, all they're doing is giving me a map. I want to see. Oh, I'm on, I'm on a specific map site, aren't I? Just need to go to Google. Um, so here we go, Mako car painting. Um. There we go, Mako. Right. America's Body Shop, Mako, Mako. Where the website blows. Um, here's Mako Auto Paint and Collision Repair. That might be a good one if you're doing collision repair. Um, Auto paint and completion, or say painting, Mako, collision repair. Um, I don't know, like things like that, that might be worthwhile. So hopefully this gives you some ideas. I got a discover there, Jose, see discover, right? And I got music, artists of the week, trendings of the week. Right. So this student had some good sort of ideas. So let's go to um, Google. So um, probably one one way to find if what are good words might be Google Trends. So we've got to go Google Trends, T-R-E-N-D-S, Google Trends, Google Trends, T-R-E-N-D-S. If you go there, um, this is where you can type in some of your words. Again, explore topic up there. See it up here? So you can put your topic up there. And so uh, let me go to my thing. I don't know if you can put all the words in there. Uh, let's just start with uh, some of them. 
Um, let me see which one. How about Southern California Brewing? That looks like a good one. Let's see what that does. And then hit return. Oh, not enough people are searching that. <laughs> okay. So there's not enough trending there. So that's uh, how about Brewing Company? Maybe there's a little bit more there. Uh, some of these, there's not enough people searching, I guess. So we can add another one. Where's the, where's the add another one in here? Compare. There we go. So all this is going to do is give you interest over time. Um, if you come down here to certain areas there, it'll show you where in the world, right? Where in the world is this being? You can localize it. Oh, they, oh yeah, zero. So you can compare two different words. You can tell Southern California Brewing isn't, but Brewing Company is getting some hits, interest over time. And it shows you per day and so on. Uh, what does this do? Oh, you can download the data. It tells you by region. Again, there's not enough data in this terms, but then it starts giving you suggestions. See right here? And of course you can search more locally, if you clicked, I clicked on the United States, and then it shows you more local information, and then it shows there's 14 brewing companies in California. I can click on that, and it'll give me more local information as well. And then we can click on related topics. I typed in Stone Brewery. It looks like it's just a really big hit in Germany. That's their one of their bigger. Okay, there you go. And look right here. I'm going all the way down to San Diego right there. Boom. And then it's showing me more data in there. And then I can come down here and it'll start showing you other information. Okay. Oh, this is pretty much in San Diego probably, isn't it? That's a little outside, isn't it? The, the one there. So it gives you more kind of local data and you can just keep going through interest by city and so on. What is this doing? Oh, you can do Google. There's really not enough data in this one, I guess, but then you can go, what was the other city? Oh. So that was just a different idea where you can compare terms. Um, let me go back and start again. Let me try some of my other words. Uh, let's try craft brewing company. Oh, this has some good information in it. And then let's compare that to what? Let's compare that to uh, you did do stone brewing company in this tool? I did stone, yeah. Let's see stone brewing company. Okay, that that doesn't have enough data, at least here, but this one did. And so oh, you get some English for craft beer. -y. Craft beer, craft beer. Okay, but this isn't the best tool. It's just a, one idea. It's called Google Trends. Probably the best tool to get good ideas is to use the keyword tool. The keyword tool. So I'm going to find the website for you. So I would use the keyword word planner. So Google, Google keyword planner. Here it is, this one. Um, the AdWords Google Keyword Planner, Keyword Planner right here. So how did I get to it? I typed in, I typed in, um, what did I type? Keyword Planner. Of course you need a Google account to log in though. So here we go, go to Keyword Planner and then go to uh, uh, Keyword Planner. And then um, in order to get the real data, you need to sign in with your Google account right here. See, sign in. And then sign into your Google account. If I can remember my uh, password, hopefully I can remember it. So welcome to Google. What, what is your website? Yeah, it's going to want some data. Just put in the Stone Brewing one. Well, I don't know if you have rights to do that, though. But so. yeah, but um, you don't have to do that. You can do. Um, mine says I have some account. I don't know what you to activate your account. So you don't need that. Just go to keywords down here if you get on this website. Um, and I already have some. 
Um, actually, after you log in, here's what I would do is I would remove this stuff. Let me see if this works. Um, oh, no, I don't want this. I'm logged in already. Hold on. It, it, it wants you to go to the ad where you buy ads, and I just want to go to the keyboard. I think that's the password, the website thing. Okay, just give me a minute. We'll, we'll get past it. Let's try again. So I'm logged in. Mm. Right, keyword tool. Let me try again. Let me try searching again. Google Keyword Planner. No, I don't want AdWords. There's a there's a page that just does keywords without having to pay. Maybe you use the other term. Um, but I'm already logged in. Hmm? I was able to, to make it work. Start using Keyword Planner. Enter your words and phrases. So here, I did get to it. <laughs> First, I logged in. There we go. First, I logged in. Then I went and I searched on Keyword Planner. Then it, you enter your phrases, so I can come over here to my Word document, and I can type in all my phrases here. And you can type them all in. You can only enter up to three keywords, but you can still add URL. Well, I guess I can only have three. And then um, it'll show you information and give you suggestions on um, what is being searched. So beer making kit is 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 being searched. Types of beer is 10,000 to 100,000 a month. Brewery tours, there's some other ones. Uh, beer making is there. And so and then they give you suggestions on how much it might cost per the word. Do you see that? So um, let me show you how I got there again. First thing I did was in my browser I logged into my account. Right, I logged in. Then I went under uh, a new search, and I went to Google, and I typed in Google Keyword Planner. So again, I'm already logged in, logged into my Google account. Then I went to Google Keyword Planner, and then I went to the... Then I went and found the tool again here. Then I went down here and said start. Which one was it? The, the, the foresight? I logged in already, and then I went to, oh, no, here we go. Then I logged in already. See, I'm logged in. Then I went to Google and typed in Google Keyword Planner. Got there. Yeah. Okay, then I went down to this one, the, the, this one, the third one down, I think. Third one, one, two, second one down. Yes. Then I scrolled down and went to the start using keyword planner. Do you see? I scrolled down a little bit. So scroll down a little bit. And it should recognize that you're already logged in. And it should go to something that looks like this. And then you can enter your key phrases in here. Yeah, mine still does this. It still does that? Let me see. Yeah, hers too. Maybe because I uh, got a different account than you. Maybe, Maybe because I'm already... It doesn't. It won't let you do the it keyword. No, it won't let you bypass it. Even if you click there. And if you hit continue. Won't let you. Or just put in your website. Just put in. It doesn't matter. Just put in your website. Stone Brewery. I didn't pay. Yeah. Oh, you didn't pay? No. See, that's why it says your account is not active. Enter your billing information. And it's still, let me, oh, there you go. So now you can go do some research here. Um, put your keywords in there. Oh, there you go. There you go. 
Uh -huh. So now it's going to start giving you information about how many people are searching. See? So it gives you what are the popular words, right? Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So now you can put in words. There you go, in there. And then start. It's so is it ranked by what's searched the most? No, it's putting in Amazon information. Yeah, so it starts giving you information about like how many people are searching. Oh, you got in. Okay, let me see. Were you able to get past the thing? Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this for a minute. Yours is even different than mine. Yours, you got a whole AdWord campaign. Yours is a little bit different. It doesn't really matter. What you're looking for when you get into here is you're looking for data of how many people are searching. You can see which ones are more popular that people are searching on. And then maybe you can use those in yours because people are using that word, right? So craft beer. That's, That's probably one. number one, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beer making. So, uh, so here we go. Uh, where was I? I, was, I had a – where was I? Oh, oh. oh here we go. This where was that? Or this one? No, this one. So again, I, I got into it here and then I put in some of my keywords here. This mine's might be a little different than where you're at. I have this new keyword phrases. Uh, then you get you got some information. They got some videos that explain how to use the tool. Usually you what you really need to do is you need to have your site associated with your Google account. They need to be together. Right, and how do you do and bridge these together to effectively use this? Is to use the um, is to use the uh, Google Console, the Google Console. Okay, so how do I put this together? So, and and if you look at mine, that's why I I've done this before. Um, you know, I was using my wife's uh, um painting site, right? So it was artists in Bay Area. Um, and then I have um, um, painting, watercolor painting, watercolor painting. Um, and so on. What's another one? Um, 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 ceramics. Ceramics in Bay Area, and I don't know why it says I can only do three. Some of these other tools in this in this thing let you do more than that. But then again, I it gives you information and it shows you how much it'll cost. And so I know we haven't talked about pricing or advertising yet, but you get to see how much all of this cost, and then it gives you suggestion words, words that are. There and then it shows you also the other important one is competition. So not only are you these words ranking or how many people are searching monthly searches here, but how many people are using that word for for the competition was how many people are advertising with that word. So if you got a high competition, then you have a lot of other people that are trying to use that same word. And so uh, if you like the data, you can pull it out. Uh, by, um, there's usually a place where you can save it. Um, where's my saving? Download key keyword ideas. So most of the data that is found here on any of the Google tools, most of the Google tools, most of the data that is found on there is going to be saved in a CSV file. Have you heard of the CSV? CSV stands for comma separated value. And that's a file that you can bring into uh, uh, Excel or other spreadsheet software. So if you download this, usually it's uh, oh, it's preparing, preparing, and then see right here the extension CSV. Do you see that? So if you save that file, of course it's going to put it in my downloads folder. It's going to put it in my downloads folder downloads folder and here it is and uh, the reason why they use CSV is it's not a proprietary format right they use if they use the Excel format they would probably have to pay Microsoft right CSV is an open source file right but it still works inside of Excel you can see it notice how it's recognized in Excel right here 
And so if I open that up, you can then go to there and then you can filter this in Excel, remove the ones you don't want in Excel, take this to your boss, you know, it's good data. You can make a chart out of this. If you've never made a chart in Excel before, here we go. You want to make a chart in Excel, you can do that by, of course, holding down the um, um, shift key to select a group of things like that. See how? And you can then filter out columns by using the, uh, what is it, option key? No, not that one. Oh, no, use the control key. So first we want to get the words over here, so I'm going to use the command key. I'm used to doing this on Windows, I'm sorry. Oh no, let's shift click, hold on, there is a way. I know it's command on Apple, I know it's harder. Yeah, there, and then we can come over here to, no, oh yeah, it is, and down to here. Oh, I just, is it command shift? Oh, let's see, I can select this, that, max search. This is data, it's not gonna give me much, but I wanna get this column, oh sh Damn. There is a way to get these old data here. I know there is. Uh, how about we just remove this right here? We can get rid of this. Hide it. Where's hide? Hide. There we go. Hide that one. We want this data. We want that. We don't want this data. We can hide that. There we go. Hide that. This is not going to do any good for us. Hide this data. Where's hide? Hide that data. Okay. So we hid that. So we want keywords. We want these titles up here, and we want this data here. The stuff over here is not going to do us any good. And then um, hold the shift key down. There we go. We're getting close. And then you can go to your chart making. Where's my chart making? Um, data. Where's my chart making? Um, I know there's chart making. Here it is. Charts. 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 How do I make charts? I make them all the time. I teach how people how to make charts. I can't find it. Maybe I have to save it. Since it's a CSV file, it doesn't give you all the options, maybe. Yeah, look. Up, no, I don't want updates. I want to save it. Save as. Let me just save it real quick. Uh, this is, um, what am I looking at? This is art ideas. And let me put it on the desktop for now. Okay, so then I want, why can't I make a chart? People graph, Bing maps, recommended charts, and we want to do a bar chart. Or, here we go. How about a 3D column cluster chart? Or how about this one? Stack. Let's make it bigger. Oh, but it's not telling me. Oh, where's my. Oh, where did it go? Where did it go? Okay, I lost it. Oh, here it is. Chart. So where's my legend? Here it is. Top page bid, high ranking. Top of page bid, low ranking. I'm not sure what the data is showing me here, but. Um, I guess San Francisco art is pretty high up. Top page bid. Oh, that costs a lot. I think the orange one is showing me how much they cost, right? You know, so San Francisco art is going to cost you a lot of money. Watercolor art. So this, all I'm trying to say is you can get data out of here like this. Yours is way different than ours, so I can't get to the part of yours. You guys don't have data like this? No, because you just does it, just gets you right there. Uh, it's probably it. because my, my is associated with my website. My website, yeah. So how you do that, let me show you how to associate it with your website. Now, some of us have a website. These three back here do. Um, you, got, you, you, you don't have access to this, don't you? So yeah. you don't have that, and yeah. you don't really have access to this. But you still, I mean, I got what So you're to saying. do that, we use Google Console. So if you want to associate, here, let's, let me show you how to do that. So if you do have a website. Or when you do. When you do have a website. I, you know, you I would talk to them and tell them they give you some access to that maybe, and you tell them you're not going to change anything, but you're going to do research for them. That's what I would tell them you're if they're going to pay you, right? Yeah. Tell them to pay a little bit extra. I'll do some good research for you. 
Yeah. So again, to do that, so how do you associate your website with your uh, Google account? That's what I'm trying to say. You have a Google login and password, and you have a website. How do I put those two together? Okay, two together. You use something called Google Console. So go to Google and type in Google Console, Google Console, S-O-L-E, Console. There it is. Okay, Google Console. Google Console. It's already recognizing that I'm logged in. And it's not what I want either. Is it Google Search Console? No, I, I, yeah, hold on. I don't want that one. I just want the regular Google Console. Console, regular Google Console. I thought it was just console.google.com. I don't want the cloud thing. Yeah, that's what's showing up. I don't want the cloud. Maybe this one. Yeah, Webmaster Central. There you go. Which one did you press? The um the one that the 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 one that says uh um Google Console Webmaster Verification. This one. So here we go. Google Search Console. I, the website is Google.com Webmaster Verification. And that I I thought it was console dot I mean, it might be this one as well. Let me look at this one. Yeah, this looks better. Dashboard, create to view page, select a project. I don't know. This one actually seemed as well as well too. This one right here, Google Webmaster Verification. So yeah, so this is where I associated. So as you can see right now, I've already added my wife's property. Do you see that? See here, there. So here it is. This is the one where you add your property. So it's called Google.com Webmaster Verification. I guess is what it is. So once you have that. You're going to make the association between your Google account and um, the website. And you add your property. See how I have a property? Yeah, so, apparently I had one. Yeah. I didn't know. I did. Oh, you have. You admit, you admit. Where did you get that? I don't know. That is you, though? <laughs> That's me, but I don't remember. Maybe for a class. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Did it at some point. Okay, so again, it'll it'll show you right here, as you can see here, um, your property. You can add more properties. Like at Zircon, where I do the other website, the StudFinder website, I actually have all my international pages because I have different international pages. I have each one of those as a separate property so that each one of those can have separate data as well. Why do we do this? Why do we do this? Well, the reason why you go and do this is so that you can then take a special code. What is that special code? That is your Google identification code. You take that code and you put it into your Yoast. Yoast is the, 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 the software that we use in WordPress to market your site. Yoast? Yoast, Yoast. So here, let's find our key. So once you have your your thing, your property, um, you have your owner. There you are. Um, I've been verified using methods verification. Succeeded. Whatever. Um, uh, what else do I need? Um, there is a there is some data in here. Details. Oh, here it is. Here's your verification code right here. See it right here? You need to take that and you put it into Yoast in WordPress. If you're using WordPress. Again, WordPress is the most popular content management. System. Drupal, Drupal probably has something similar. Drupal. I don't know about Drupal. But that's what the stone people use. The stone brewing people. Yeah, that's right. They use Drupal as their content management system. It's kind of similar. But at least with mine is, the, see this code right here? And then I take that code and I put it in Yoast. Yoast. We can do it after lunch. How about that? Because I'm getting hungry. Almost 12. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is I'm going to show you how to do that. Right? I'm going to demonstrate that. 
and we'll record it so when you go and get your site you come back to my video and you watch it again or you watch the Yoast video the Yoast video shows you how to do it as well we will how about we follow the Yoast video after lunch okay I'm just trying to show you how to get your code okay again how you get your code is you log into your Google account, you add your prop. Let me do it for my son. How about we do my son's thing? Because he needs to do this anyways. Add property. And what was my son's website? JRM. What was it? Jammer. Jammer. Where's Jammer? Jammer. 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 Or maybe I do it for just my site. Oh, here we go. Maybe we just do it for raskoffmedia.com because I don't have anything there, and I'll make a page and we'll add some content to it. Let's just do it for there. So I'm going to just do raskoffmedia.com. So uh, here we go. Uh, add. No, not keyword planner. Where was I at? I was in. No. Where is my? Oh, here, webmaster tools. So I'm going to put in HTTP colon four slash four slash www.raskoff media.com so I put in my property hence the word property hit continue it's gonna go and verify that you have a website so it recognizes my websites at GoDaddy right see that and then it says uh, you can verify it it's gonna go to GoDaddy confirm that you have it you can click your authorization no, there it goes. It's verifying that I actually have a legitimate page. So what's that? What Google's doing is it's saying, "Hey, is this a legitimate website?" So it's going to go Daddy to verify, and they're they're sending data back and forth, making sure that you're not some spammer, jammer. I don't know what you want to call spammers. It's going. It's going. I don't have anything there yet, but that's okay. We'll add some content there. Maybe we'll add some uh, some West Valley digital media data so that people can find. Yes. Are you going to teach your video editing in the fall? No, in summer, but I'm not teaching it. Somebody else is going to teach it. Okay. It's two days a week during the day. You probably work in the... So you only teach it in spring? Yeah, I don't have it in fall. Maybe in the future. Oh, failed! Uh, okay, you don't need to verify right now. You can say not now. It's okay. It's probably because there's no data there. Oh, but that's not going to... I need my code. Okay, well, let's try my son's then, since we can't get him. What, what was my son's? Let's just try and cheat. We'll use his. What is it? Uh, Jammer. J-A-M-R -J Productions. Do you, can you remember that for me? J-A-M. What was it? J-A-R-M. J-A-M-R. P-R-O-D-U-C-T-I-O-N. Productions.com. Oh, maybe because I need HTTP. Maybe I'll just put www. Oh, maybe Raskoff didn't have www. Yes, go daddy. Yes. I, I think last time I tried that, it didn't work either. I think you could do this without verifying. I don't know why it's making me verify right now. I don't know why it's making me go through this right now. And I swear the website was console.google.com. I don't know. It's going through something here. I don't think you need to verify this just to get the, the code. Really? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, well that didn't really work. 
How about, um, no, I don't want help. Let me go back. Um, let's go search console. No. I really want to go to the right website. This is not where I want to be. I swear it is. Let me just let me just type it in. I think it's console c o n s o l no console what was console console s o l e console dot google dot com is that not no no go console not the cloud one. Google Webmaster Verification. No, that's not what I want. Maybe it's console developers. No, not that. Maybe it's console developers.google.com. I swear there's one that was just console web UI admin cloud platform. Cloud platform console developers.android developers, 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 developers. Do you remember that? Firebase, I don't know what that is. Type your text to hear it say. It just doesn't seem right. Oh, here we go. No. I guess they're changing to this. I guess I have to use this. Let me try it again. Now, I guess, you know, it, it looks different every time. Google keeps loves to change things on you. Let me see. Yeah, oh, like an API engine. Look at all the options you got here. Wow. Spanner. What is all this stuff? Location. Static map. Map location. Oh, look at all that. I don't know what any of this is. Totally doesn't look like what I was envisioning here. I, want the, I just want the console. It used to be so easy. I have that already. Let me try. Oh, here we go. This looks more familiar. Search console. There we go. Add a property. And I'm going to add. So the search console looks a little better. Raskovmedia.com. Add. There we go. Oh, yeah, I know the verification fails. Five minutes ago, go to find a token in your domain TXT records. Well, I don't have it yet. That's the whole purpose of me doing this now. So I'm going to say not now. Yeah, verify now. No. Add property now. Verify now. Failed. Verify. Let me try one more time here. This is killing me here. All right. Why do we add this code to our um, site? Is that um, there's a plugin that goes into WordPress where you put all your Google data in your keywords. Remember the keywords that we just searched in? Put all your keywords, you put your description in, you put all that in there. And then what that plugin will do then is make files for Google to tell Google how to search your site. So it'll make something called a robot TXT file and it'll tell it how to, so this is basically telling Google how to rank you. So there it is. That's the most important thing. So how about we go have some lunch at 12 o'clock. Who's hungry? Oh good. Did you bring some food? I did. I did? Okay. And um, anybody else? <laughs> 